nice mushroom Ooh. there. Oh yeah, look down in there. Look at all those. Oh my gosh, there's a gigantic mushroom. Look at them. Look out to the, off to the side. There's right there, right there. Oh my gosh. This is a big old patch. Look at that one. Oh yeah. Good morning, everyone. You ever have one of those days when you get up and you're thinking, what am I going to do today? You got a thousand things to do and you're not sure where to start. Well, today we're just going to start by going and see what we can get done. So, uh, yeah, let's get after it. How'd your scrap load go? Scrap load went real well. Uh, $350 worth of scrap. It's not bad for a junkyarder. And click. That's always something, isn't it? Yeah, always. All right, we gotta get this bad boy on the back of this so we can get it back down to the barn. Remember to get it up out of there. Heck, I think we could have had Cyrus do that. That was pretty easy. Just need to get a strap on her. Well, how'd you manage that? It didn't fall off. Good luck. All right, so we got that bill paid. So that's that's fun. We got six hundred and fifty dollars worth of seed, and that will last us for the whole year. Hopefully, get everything taken care of. Um, so let's head back to the house, try to get some lunch or something. Hey bud, how was lunch? Was it good? You gonna come help me see the garden? Maybe? No? Man, it's not getting warmer. I'm gonna try to get some onion sets put in the ground today. See if we can get the last of those done. Then plant out some uh, spinach and maybe some lettuces too. I don't know. I have to go through the seed trays and see what I like. All right, so we need to fix this guy up. Get that, uh, get a little deeper. I wanna try to get some more tillage in so I can get these onion sets set in a little better. You can see the birds have done a number on them this week, so gotta fix that. So I'm gonna try to do that by lowering this down. That's tight. I'm going to try something different. So I'm thinking if we take the back wheel off, this might make for a better tool. So my thought process there is if I take that back wheel off, that back wheel kind of acts as a closer. And so if it's not there, it should the soil should be looser when I go to work with it. So. All right, that worked a whole lot better, actually. Makes a nicer, deeper row. And I have more loose soil in here because that back wheel didn't pack it down. I actually like that, that's, that's much better. Oh yeah. It's a little tougher to push because you're going deeper and you don't have the stabilization, but it does make a better result. I think I'm gonna stick with it like that, just leave that wheel off. See that fellow down there? I think that's our culprit. I think that's the one who's been pulling these onions out. He's been playing around with me. Already testing them out. He's probably gonna have them out by tomorrow morning. Oh well. So we're gonna be planting Stuttgart today. We got these onion sets. We end up having four different varieties. I forget what these bulbs are, but of course these are the red burgundies and then those are yellow Spanish that we grew out. So we've had in the, in the greenhouse or in the grow room since January. So we're gonna go ahead and get these onions dropped in and uh, Move on to the next thing. So 
So that rose in. That's about 150 sets that we got set in there. Looks pretty good. Hopefully the birds leave these alone. These might be a little bit too exposed. Give them a little cover. But yeah. All right. So what seeds are we gonna plant? What do you want to put out? You don't know? I don't know. What do you think? Lettuce or spinach? We have two options. We have the Bloomsdale and we have the Black Seeded Simpson. Which one do you think is better? Your choice. I'm going to put them here. You pick up which one you want. Is that a hard decision? Okay, we'll do both. Since you can't make up your mind. So we're going to firm the seed bed with this roller. We'll mark our bed and then we'll come back and plant. So let's get out our big time, our big time cedar. Look at that guy. Oh, I'm telling you. If you don't have one, you don't know what you're missing out on. Get her filled up with seed. Seeds in, now I just gotta get it covered up. I use my high-tech boot to do that. Just basically walk the row in. So back in the house, we need to check on our little seedlings and see how everybody's doing. Everybody looks like they're doing all right. Looks like moisture levels are good. Yeah, these are the Amish paste tomatoes. Oh, I got a little guy in here, go ahead and get him pulled out, yeah. These guys need to go out tomorrow. These are the Carolina Cross watermelons. So these are our big watermelons. They need to go out tomorrow. It looks like germination trays are doing okay. Bunch of tomatoes are coming up up here. What do we got going on here? Oh, we got some stuff coming up here. What do we got? This is our oregano is doing good. Our thyme, there's one sprout there. There's a sprout just starting to come on. Then we've got tomatoes here on the end. These are Martino Romo, the Roma tomatoes. They're coming up. I'll give them a couple of days and then I'll weed out some of the stuff. If you've never started seed from home, this is the way to do it. That two grow lights and I got the heat mat underneath here. That heat mat keeps those plants at about 80 degrees, 75, 80 degrees, which has really kicked off my germination levels. And then once I get them over here from here, I just transplant them off underneath my third light give them a little bit of time to establish before I take them out to the greenhouse and put them out there. But my germination levels have gone through the roof since adding this mat and the grow lights. It's great. What you making? Making bacon. You'd be jealous if you could smell it in here. It smells delicious. We got a little bacon. Let's make a little onion. We got a little bit of deer meat in the microwave. Your plants are looking nice. Yeah, they're happy now that they got split up. I'd say. This one in the corner is really doing good. Uh oh. Are you aware of this? What? This pork is from 2020. It's two years old. Oh no. And this meat, it's not even labeled. In case you're wondering why we have pork from 2020. If you remember, they were slaughtering animals and throwing them in the ground. And so we did, but we did our part and we bought a bunch of pigs and we put, what, how many pigs we put in the refrigerator, freezer? Five? Yep. Yeah, so we put five whole pigs in our freezer in 2020 because there was so much being wasted and the stuff lasts in the freezer just fine. I'm not worried about it at all. I love it actually, it's great. So in case you're wondering why we have two-year-old meat, that's why we have two-year-old meat because we... Mm, that looks delicious, look at that. Still cooking the meat, but mm, man, look at that. Got tomatoes, onions, bacon, mushrooms. Is that it? What is that? There's chilies in there. Oh, there's chili peppers in there too. Oof. I still have to go to the woods, and she's already made something. Ugh. We're gonna have to pick those mushrooms quick. Well, look who finally made it home from school. Yeah. Learn anything today? Not really. Just look, it's that time of the season. Now we're doing some cultivating today. Nice one. Ooh, that. That's the one I saw that one time that we weren't picked yet. Yeah. No. That's, that's a big mushroom now, isn't it? Yeah, he's a dead dad mushroom. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. 
Let's get my bag out. Oh yeah, look at that. That thing. Nice mushroom Ooh. there. Oh yeah, look down in there. Look at all those. Oh my gosh, there's a gigantic mushroom. Look at them. Look out to the, off to the side. There's right there, right there. Oh my gosh. This is a big old patch. Look at that one. Oh yeah, look how big that one is. I know that one's the one I was talking about. Like, what kind of mushroom? And that one, that one. Oh boy, look at all those. Oh yeah, look at oh look at that cluster okay. right there. I think we have enough for dinner tonight. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them. There's more down in there. Oh. Woo. I think we have enough for dinner tonight. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, this one's a big one too. This is fat. Yeah, they're everywhere in here. Look at them over here. Look, Cyrus, so come over here. They're right there. There's one. There's one right there. I can take this tree. Over There's this one out there. There's two right there. I see that one. What? So, the, so the beginning we come in there. There's two over there. Right there and right there. And now you know there's like lots of more of them. Like you, I, I did not expect this. Oh, about that. stepped on that one. Wait. Hold on. What? what do you think? Yeah, we we'll probably need to get a, probably gonna get a full bag. Okay, that extra bag that you had will come to use today. I got it with me just in case we need Oh it. yeah. Thank goodness you have that, otherwise you would be. Go. What you got? Let's open this guy back up. We didn't quite fill it up, but there's a good bit in there, isn't there? Yep. Enough for a meal, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's head back to the house and get dinner. Okay. Drop the ground. Hmm. Yeah. Who?